How to deal with loneliness and social isolation when you work from home. If you have made the decision to work from home, then there is a good chance that you're someone who considers themselves to be an introvert. As such, you are probably more than happy to shut yourself away and to work on things you find rewarding. But even for an introvert, this can sometimes become a little lonely and isolating. And meanwhile, if you're an extrovert who has been forced to work from home through no choice of their own, it can be excruciating. In this presentation, we'll look how to deal with the loneliness and social isolation that comes with working from home. Find other ways to socialize. The first and most important way to ensure you don't go mad working from home is to try to find other ways to get your stimulation and engagement. For instance, if you're stuck at home with your family, you can take lunch with them in order to make the isolation a little more bearable. In fact, this is a huge upgrade. Instead of being forced to work alongside people you don't really know all that well, you are now spending time with people you actually love. You can also get on a video call with a friend or coworker using Zoom or Skype. For group video calls, a great app you could use is called House Party, which is available for iOS and Android devices. Work together on projects. If you're self-employed, then finding ways to work with others, especially friends, can make a big difference. Collaborating on a project with someone you get on well with is extremely rewarding, and it's a fantastic way to strengthen your friendship. Go out. Again, this isn't always possible, but where you can, why not go outside and work? Working from home doesn't have to mean working from home in the literal sense. All it really means is working not at the office. So why not take your laptop to a cafe and get some work done there? Or alternatively, why not work on a park bench and enjoy the sun on your face?